The first thing I wish I knew before starting a YouTube channel in 2024 is quality over quantity. Think about Mr. Beast, for example. Mr. Beast is a name that almost every single person who watches YouTube knows. His videos aren't daily, but when they are posted, it's an event and people rush to click on it because they know it's worth their time. When I first started releasing gaming videos on my hip gaming channel, I was releasing videos just to keep up with a schedule. I watched countless YouTube videos and they all said, stick to a schedule no matter what. This is a way for YouTube to know you are taking it seriously. Now that is very misleading. There is definitely some truth behind sticking to a schedule. This allows your viewers to know when you will be posting and it will motivate you to stay on track with your own videos. However, don't just post to post. Don't post a subpar video just to stick to a schedule. Make sure every video you post is a banger video that will get your viewers even more excited for the next video you release. This builds that strength that MrBeast uses to always make that viewer extremely excited to watch your new videos as soon as they are posted. And not only that, YouTube loves this approach too. When viewers stick around to watch a video, it tells the platform that this content is extremely valuable. And YouTube rewards that with more visibility, pushing your videos to new people, which are new potential fans. One killer video can do more for your channel than a dozen just okay ones. It's a win-win situation for viewers, YouTube, and yourself. The second tip is to provide specific and actionable content. There are a few reasons why it's important to be specific and actionable in your YouTube videos. First, it helps your viewers get more value from your content. When you tell them exactly what to do and how to do it, they can start implementing your tips and strategies right away. Sort of like what I'm doing right now in this video. You can take these nine steps and immediately incorporate them into your own channels to help you grow your YouTube channel. Second, being specific and actionable makes your videos more engaging. Viewers are more likely to watch and interact with videos that they know will help them learn something new. It helps create loyal followers. When viewers see that your videos are helpful and informative, they're more likely to subscribe to your channel so they can be notified when you upload a new video. This creates a loyal community that will help promote future videos because as soon as they are posted, those fans will help boost your video at the start so then YouTube will know it is a quality video and start pushing it to new viewers that will ultimately grow your channel even more. So the bottom line, every video should be like your favorite slice of pizza, satisfying and leaving you wanting more. Because when viewers get value, they come back for seconds and thirds and where you get the idea. The third tip is use AI strategically. Remember the buzz when ChatGPT hit the scene? Everyone was all, AI is going to create all your content and content creators are going to be a thing of the past because AI will be making all your content. But as we can see, AI isn't to the point yet where it is making the entire video for people. However, that doesn't mean AI can't be used as an insanely powerful tool. I personally use AI tools like ChatGPT and Bard to help me write scripts, give me endless thumbnail and title ideas, and write me great YouTube descriptions to be optimized for SEO. Also, I believe when AI can start making the entire video from start to finish for creators, viewers are still going to want to have that personal connection with the creator. The viewers are still going to want to relate to those creators through their inside jokes, their personal stories, and just get that authenticity from their favorite creators. It makes the viewer feel like they can get to know their favorite creators and get that friendship type of feeling from being able to relate to them. AI should be a tool in your toolkit, not the star of the show. So be sure to use AI as a very powerful tool, but don't rely on it too heavily that you lose your authenticity and style. The fourth tip is focus on presentation. The packaging of your YouTube video is arguably the most important thing you can do for a YouTube video. You could have the best video in the entire world, but if your thumbnail and title are horrible, nobody will even click on your video to begin with. Make sure to study what competitors in your niche have used for thumbnails and titles and use that as a tool to create your own unique thumbnail from your videos that show a proof of concept and really work in your niche. There are some tools out there that can help show you what is working like vidIQ that you should use to help determine what types of thumbnails and titles work best in your niche. People have known for a while now that the intro to your video is extremely important because you need to hook the viewer to stick around to the end of the video to help with watch time. But it is even more important now because YouTube has begun playing your intro while people are skimming through their homepage. Videos begin playing now without even clicking on the video. So when someone is hovering over your video deciding to watch it, you need to have a very powerful intro to get the viewer to click on the full video and watch. One secret trick too for this is to try and have subtitles used during that intro because some people won't have their volume up and you still want them to be intrigued from your intro even without sound. So I hope I did the packaging well enough for this video for you to click on it and watch the whole thing through. One example that I personally tried for this video was to not give an intro like, hey guys, welcome back to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe, which you should do anyway. 
Instead, I jumped right into tip number one, so the viewer is immediately intrigued and wants to learn more. Make sure to take time and really dive deep into what will catch your target viewer's eyes to want to click on your video. I know it's hard to do, but many creators won't even start making their video if they don't have a great thumbnail and title for their ideas. That just shows the importance of how you should focus on the packaging of your video. The key takeaways from this point are making a thumbnail that pops, a title that creates intrigue for the viewer to click on, and an intro that gets straight to the point and makes the viewer want to stick around until the very end. Tip number five is think of YouTube as a business. Your YouTube channel is your business, plain and simple. Every video is a product on your shelf and viewers are your customers, deciding whether to buy in with their time and attention. The first click might be out of curiosity, but keeping them there, that's where your skills have to step in. You need that viewer to buy into your video and from that video, you want them to become a loyal customer, coming back for more videos every time they are released. Another way you need to treat your YouTube channel as a business is to create a business plan or a roadmap of your goals and how you are going to achieve those goals. If you set small goals and work on things to consistently be improving to reach those goals, it will have a snowball effect and substantially grow your channel. This rolls right into the next reason, which is to be patient and persistent. If you think of your channel as a business, you have to realize that businesses don't grow overnight. Amazon and Apple didn't magically become the top companies in the world in a week. It took patience and constant improvement over time to build up those loyal customers to become the largest companies in the world, which is how you have to treat your YouTube channel. It isn't something that happens overnight. It takes time to consistently grow and improve. That is why it is so important to set small goals and constantly reach each milestone. And over time, by hitting those small goals, you will see the larger benefits from your hard work. Your channel or your business should be a place where viewers know they'll always find something valuable, something worth their time. It's a balance of giving them the familiar products they love while also surprising them with new items that keep things exciting. Tip number six is don't rely on just ads as a way for monetization. Many beginning YouTubers believe they need to become a YouTube partner so that they can start making money. Although that is an awesome thing to achieve and can definitely be one of your small goals you set to help motivate you to continue to grow, it is also a false narrative for many YouTubers because they believe that is the only way to make money through ad revenue. However, that is far from the case. There are many different income streams you can use from the very beginning to start making money through YouTube. You can start making money immediately through some of these strategies. The first strategy would be affiliate marketing. Modern Warfare 2 is here and I'll be showing you the keybinds I use with the Azeron keypad on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. The Azeron keypad has 26 customizable keys, a joystick to move instead of using WASD, and it's fully color customizable to fit any of your setups. If you want to get one yourself, make sure to use code HIP for 5% off and I'll put the link in my description if you want to get one yourself. Affiliate marketing is when you promote a product and you have an affiliate link where someone buys your product through that link and you earn a commission. You could have zero subscribers with one view and from that one viewer, they decide to buy that product through your affiliate link and you're already earning money to help invest back into your channel to make it grow even more, which in hand will probably lead to more views, which are more chances for people to buy through your link, which is more money in your pocket. I personally have done that with a very unique keyboard that I use called the Azeron Cyborg, link in the description. And videos with like 100 views have led to me earning some money through commission. This is a very easy way for you to start earning money with a small amount of views. The second way could be through merchandise. Say you have like five loyal fans that will buy a t-shirt from you. You can use sites like Teespring and you can set up your own shop and you can throw your logo on a multitude of merchandise. I personally have used that for t-shirts. Actually, the shirt I'm wearing right now is from my very first Teespring store. Teespring allows you to design merchandise and doesn't charge you anything up front. Instead, they make the product whenever someone buys it and you receive whatever profit is left after you take out their cut. And you can change your prices to whatever you want so you can control how much money you make. It is very simple to set up and another easy way to make money right away. The third way is through courses. Now this one isn't for everyone, but if your niche is very unique and you're an expert in whatever niche you make videos on, this could be extremely valuable. You can create a course and have people pay you to receive your valuable information. And the last income stream I'm going to go over is partnership. Now for partnerships, you might have to grow a little to be able to obtain these deals, but partnerships are when you can partner with brands to promote their products through your videos. These are just some of the many unique ways creators have jumpstarted their channels because it allows them to start making money immediately and investing that back into their channels. Much different than that slow grind to making a lot of money just from ad revenue. Tip number seven is focus on retention. If you're starting a channel, focus on making videos that will keep people watching. 
Don't just grab the viewer's attention at the start, you have to hold on to it. Make it interesting, make it relatable, make it fun. The longer they watch, the more YouTube will promote your videos. It's a win-win. And when that video is done, make it irresistible for the viewer to need to watch more of your channel. You know when you're binge watching videos on YouTube and one just leads to another? That's what YouTube loves. They want viewers to stick around watching one video after another. The longer you stay, the more ads they can show. And that means more money for them and for you as a creator. Remember, YouTube is a business. They want to make money and they'll push channels that help them do that. So keep the viewers entertained, make them want to stay, and you'll see your channel grow. It's all about keeping it real and keeping them watching. Tip number eight is utilize other platforms to grow your YouTube channel. You've seen those quick, fun clips on YouTube Shorts, TikTok, and Instagram, right? They're short, sweet, and straight to the point. And guess what? They're a super easy way to get people excited about your content without taking too much of their time. Think of it like giving them a tiny taste of what you do. If they like it, they'll want a full scoop with your long form videos. It's like when you get a free sample at a store. You try a bite and if it's tasty, you want the whole thing. And don't forget about writing a few words here and there. Platforms like LinkedIn or even a quick tweet can be a goldmine for sharing your thoughts and getting people to notice you. Tip number nine is outsourcing. Now, most people make this mistake while starting a YouTube channel. They try and be a one man army and get swamped with all the work, but you should outsource, especially if you're already bringing in some money through the monetization methods we talked about earlier. It's like having extra hands to help you out. Imagine not having to spend hours and hours editing your video. Outsourcing means hiring people to do some tasks for you. Think of it like this. While someone else edits your video, you can work on other things like brainstorming, spending more time on video ideas, or better ways to package your content. It's all about making the best use of your time. Websites like Fiverr and Upwork are awesome for finding people to help you out. You can find people who are pros at editing, making thumbnails, or whatever you need. I personally have used Fiverr and Upwork countless times to hire freelancers to help me out with my YouTube video. This also helps a lot of creators who get burnt out from working so hard on their video. By outsourcing, they can hire out the things they are getting tired of doing and focus on the things they enjoy. Last is bonus tip number 10. Make sure to not draw out outros by saying things like, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I post. Instead, end the video as soon as you provide all the value needed to the viewer, just like this one.